Hi everyone, it's Anna from Women Legends here, and today I'll be teaching you how to make your very own llama. I think that he is super cute. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. AKA, the supplies you'll be needing. So, you could read off of here. What you will be needing are about a pack of bands. So for this one, I use the dust, but today I'll be using the Vambolo smoothie bands. I've never used these before, but yeah. Accent color, around 60 bands, so that's the tan. But today I'll be using Mother Pearl. Ears. The ears and the nose are 22 bands. I'll be using pearl pink. The eyes, I used bands here, but um, I'm gonna put this down. You could use bands as I did. You could use beads, I'm just grabbing some beads. You could use beads, or you could even, which is what I'm gonna be using, safety eyes. Um, I don't know what size, but the size will be on your screen because I, I, I don't know what size. And, obviously, you'll be needing the backings. Ooh, I just hit my loom. That means you'll need your loom. Rainbow loom I'm using today. But any, um, loom that's in the staggered configuration will do. For the mouth... I keep hitting the tripod. For the mouth, I used around two to three bands, so I'll be using black. Um, you'll be needing a hook of some sort. I'll be using a rainbow and metal tip tuck. We could also use crochet hook, a latch hook, a plastic hook, or a bad quality hook. Um, I guess they're not bad quality, but they're like those plastic hooks that like snap in two seconds. If you're using a plastic hook, you should have a lot. So there. Um, you'll be needing some stuffing, and I don't have a lot of stuffing left, this is all I have, so I will be making it super fluffy, and I'm not going to really stuff it that well, so that I tell you that. Um, a C-clip. Let me get my wheel in the scene. So, you'll need a C-clip. So, one of these guys. Get that out of the way. Yeah, you'll need a C-clip. It's a piece of plastic that I didn't see, but as you could see here, you could also use a stitch marker or an oh, S-clip. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm going to put this away. Without further ado, let's get on to the actual tutorial. Okay, guys, so you could, like, screenshot this. Um, It's sort of wrong because I was just, like, jotting it down um on my bed and stuff so this um i would rather you guys watch the tutorial but if you're the kind of person like my sister who just wants to screenshot it and then go you could do that but uh it's sort of wrong i guess i sort of made some modifications because that's for this guy and it's off my memory so yeah i don't recommend following this but uh it's just there so let's begin make sure the scene okay we're going to start, as it says here, with the magic ring of six. By picking a single band and wrapping it around your hook three times. One, two, three. Three loops. You're going to take another band, pull through that cap band, and you should hold on to that cap band. We claim, and now you want to slip not by pulling the back loop. Ooh, drop all your bands. Okay, just kidding. You want to pull the back loop. Over the front loop. <laughs> that took a while. Go back into that cat band. Grab another band. Pull through the cat band only. We claim. Now you want to pull these two loops over the first loop. We want to do this four more times. Keep shaking my tripod. And 
and I am going to be rambling a lot. So when I tell you to like do like a couple of stitches, you should probably just pause. Um, you should probably just mute me if I say like one, two, three. Like if I say, okay, now you're gonna do three rows of single crochet. Don't do it. Then you should probably mute me because I'm gonna ramble, ramble, ramble. But not now. Once you have your magic ring of six, zoom out. Put the clip on. And now we are going to do a single crochet all the way around. So how do you do a single crochet? Let me zoom in so you can see. So focus it. You wanna go into that V shape, you see it? The V shape. Just wanna stick your hook into it. Then you want to, oh yeah, I forgot, put the zip clip on your band. Take a band, pull it through the stitch only. Now you want to sort of just pull it down, reclaim the band back onto your hook, pull the bottom two loops over the first loop. I'm going to zoom out if it's easier for you to see this way. Into the stitch, take a band, pull through the stitch. Pull it down, weak wing, and slip knot. It'll get easier and easier once you continue this, I guess, is a beginner's tutorial. Um, I was planning on doing this in two parts, but I don't think so. Since it's pretty easy to do. Keep using my fingers. Not supposed to. Yeah, my... Um, I want to make sure I'm in the scene, so I'm on my knees. I ramble. I ramble too much. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Take the C-clip off. You don't have to. I like, I personally like taking it off, but I'm rambling again, aren't I? There we go. Put the C-clip back on. You can see my shadow. Hi, shadow. See, I'm rambling again. Okay, so now we are going to sing, do three rounds of single crochet with our fluff. What's fluff? This is fluff. I'm gonna move him out of the way. Maybe he'll just like, go there, go my bands. Okay, just kidding. Okay, so we're gonna go into a stitch. It's like doing a single crochet, but we first also have to do a color change. Take a single band, put it on your hook. Single. Now you want to twist so that there's a figure eight and put it back onto your hook. Take another band, oop, another band, pull through, pull through the stitch. And this time we're actually going to pull through this band too. We clean and slip knot. The reason is because it, um, it's because we color changed. So yeah. And repeat this process all the way around i should be in depth go into the stitch hold on guys that was my sister so go into the stitch take the band wrap it figure eight we queen another band pull through the wrap band pull through the stitch slide it down we queen slip knot so we are going to do this all the way around and sorry um for that knock Dinner's ready, so. Um, but that's okay, because I'm about to do something a bit different, and I am grabbing these at random. So there's no particular pattern. Um, no order. Just grabbing these at random. Okay. So... Now you want to pause the video here and then you want to make, do two more rows, a single crochet. Okay, so I have just finished my leg and <laughs> it's three. So good job if you're still watching this. Um, and also you have to flatten this hoof, the, um, they're called hoofs, right? Yeah, you have to flatten the hoof bit down there you go now you want to go into the next stitch over 
the secret. Do you guys like when I do it like, like alone, or do you guys like it when I do it with you, like sort of thing? But, so, we clean. Slip. Note. Don't pull very tight because we're gonna um pull tight actually. See, I make mistakes because um we are well so don't pull it too tight but don't pull it too loose that it would just come out because so we're gonna take this out later when we um attach all the legs so it's just a temporary holding okay so i'm gonna actually time lapse this hopefully this goes well the pattern will be right here the whole time i'll try to do it up here like down here i'll move this up here and do it down here so that you guys could stare at the pattern and so pause the video here make see more i'll be in time lapse so yeah okay so i have just finished the actual time i think was around 18 minutes to make all of these legs to make these two uh these two legs and then this one i did with you if i'm remembering this correctly so yeah we have our four legs we're gonna attach them like that we're gonna do the body and then I'm gonna do you have to say bye bye to this lovely card and here's a track of everything we're gonna do um hi hi to this card so you probably don't know what work all the legs together means um but if you do Screenshot it. Oop, no, it's clicking. You can't really click it. But can you? I mean, if you could, that's amazing. But others can't. So I'll zoom in for you guys to screenshot it if you're the screenshotting type of person. Okay, back to business. No more screenshotting. Um, I'm sorry. Do you guys like when I show you guys? Uh, I don't know. So I was thinking about it while I'm doing this. You actually want to keep this one out and you could tuck it in, but I don't want to because it actually blends in. I'm going to take it and put it on your hook. Normal. Then you want to go into another leg like so. Now you want to take some smoothie bands. Or I'm using smoothie bands. Let me zoom in a lot. Pull through. We clean. Pull the back loop over the front loop. Like so. Now we are going to go into the stitch and no fluff bands. Um and don't worry, you won't you can't really tell that there aren't any fluff bands and we are going to go until we get to this half of the leg. So, because then we want to add our other thing, our other leg. Um, so, okay. So I am there. You could really pick wherever. Because I don't I have an exact place. go pull through we claim and not now we want to go around this perimeter and once we get here we're gonna add our leg so yeah our last leg it's a bit tricky but i've done it twice um this is my second time doing it so it's a bit easier when to make like a few of them once once you do it once it's like easy as one two three i don't know whatever you call your easy thing i'm standing up so you guys could see but that's totally unnecessary this is what we're doing so we are going to my dog squeaking her squeaky toy go in am i going into two oh no 
Don't get the fluff, no matter how fluffy it is. Don't get it. What? Okay, go into it. I don't even know what I'm talking about now. Pulsu, weak wing, swept knot. We're gonna go until pull this tight. We go to the swag. Um. Yeah, there's nothing really to talk. I mean, I could talk how I, I design, like. So I've always, I guess I'll just, I'll ramble in a couple of minutes. Once we finish this leg thing, the hard stuff, it's easy reason until we have to attach. Oh, you go into the stitch where you want it. I'll pick up on the story after. And then you just go into your other wag and pull through. And slip knot. Okay. So back to our, and now we want to edit this here. Oh, you couldn't even see that. Trish. I'm bad at this. Um, so you want a single crochet. Now we're going to use our fluffy bits again. Um, okay, so picking up on the story on how I'm going to say, on how I made this. So I, was, I always wanted to make a llama. Llamas are cute. No, and I'm going to do one round with you. Um, but yeah, okay, back with the story. I keep rambling. I've always loved llamas. They're so, like, fluffy and cute and adorable. And then my sister had a stuffed llama. It's like, oh, yeah, I want to, like, I love. Like, since I like llamas, they're not my favorite animal. Um, but they're, they're pretty, pretty intelligent. So it's like, you know what? I want to make a llama. So I waited for like two months to get the bands because my mom, because um, we were waiting at our Etsy shop at Ian Day Services. Make sure to go check us out. Maybe even order from us. Okay. I'm went. Sorry, folks. I'm using, I am not, I keep getting sidetracked. Okay. On to the story. I had, yeah, I've always wanted a llama. So we got a sale and I was like, yes, I could order bands. We ordered bands and then that came yesterday. I made the legs and that's it. Then today, I made the whole head, the whole head today, yes, I I made the head, I attached the legs, I did it all earlier this morning, and then I went to school, I did it all um, during school because I have virtual class, school, I, um, I have two classes, 10.30 to 12, and then 1.30, one. Blech, I'm, I'm, this is my, 2.15 to 3.15, and then I had violin, which is when I actually finished my llama dude, during my break from, uh, I'm getting the story wrong. So, my llama was done, um, I was playing on this, I was finishing my homework, playing on the Switch, my Nintendo Switch, and then I have violin class with my awesome violin teacher. Um, and then I filmed uh, in the middle, which is why my sis um, that was my sister knocking. I ate some yummy dinner. I ate um like. They're like elbow, elbows, like not elbows, elbows, like the elbow shaped pastas with, I think butter, I don't know, um, chicken, peas, like peas, like the vegetable, um, carrots and corn, and then I had a lovely dinner, and I had a Hershey's and cream. 
my sister just went out of it too, but that's why. Uh, and then I got a Hershey's, um, Hershey's white chocolate bar for my um, dessert. I ate some carrots, and now here we are. Um, now, so yeah, I literally just told you guys my whole day, which I wasn't supposed to do. But it's my fault. It's it's my fault. I love to ramble. My bad. Um. So yeah, that's how we are up to date from right now. So as you can see, I will be rambling a lot. My habit, it's like a bad habit, right? Yeah, it's a bad habit Um, <laughs> to ramble so much. I love rambling. I'm rambling about me rambling. See, that's what I mean, I always ramble. Okay, okay, you know, stay on track. Sorry, I had to remind myself to stay on track. Anyways, so yeah, I'm, that's my story of today. Um, it's 7.30 something. After this, I'm probably going to go to bed, um, get ready for bed, maybe cuddle up cuddle with my dog for a couple of minutes 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 yeah. then talk to my sister for like a minute for like 20 yeah like 40 minutes then do go bathroom doze off and then edit this and then give my sister the camera to edit the whole video so yeah that's what i've been doing for my whole day that's like 13. so yeah Ta -da. so now we are going to do two rounds a single crochet um so yeah let's do that Okay, so Emma's in here. She just lost her tooth. Yeah, but not gonna worry about that. That's why there was so much background noise. I was trying to put my tooth out that whole time. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do a single crochet followed by a decrease. We need to get more smoothie bands back out. I love this color. I'm gonna stand. So, especially to show you guys how to do a decrease with wrapped bands. And I did turn the light off for quite some time. I forgot to turn it back on after I ate my dinner. Yes, I did start rambling about dinner. <laughs> what I eat. Um, okay, so how to do a decrease? Me focus. Okay, so you want to go into the stitch right here. Go into the next stitch. There. There, not there. Okay, take... Your fluff band twist figure eight. Put it back on, you guys. Probably should be a master after doing all this. Take single band, pull through first of fluff, then the two stitches. Don't pull this band unless you want to do a color change, but we're not doing that. We claim pull the back two loops over the front. Okay, got it. Got it. Good, good, good. We're all good, guys. Oh, yeah. Found this teeny band when I was looming. The body. It was a teeny band. So, yeah. So Emma's like, wow. <laughs> um, oh, I'm actually, my puff is pretty strong. I just blew this, like, super short distance. And work. Remember, um, Emma. I also. So if you don't have stuffing, I'm gonna start talking about this because we're about to stuff. You could use tissues, um, toilet paper. I use toilet paper for my bands. I 
don't recommend bands because it takes up a lot of bands to make this stuff. And also, they're super precious. As a loomer, you need bands because then you can't loom. You get what I mean? So, yeah, you could um, use bands. I don't recommend using bands. It takes a lot of bands. Um, I'll show you how to use both, um, all of them, all of the ones that I'm listing, except for tissues because I don't have any tissues. Surprising, right? We've, Emma and I finished our last batch of tissues like a long time ago. So we don't have any tissues with us. So I'll be showing you with toilet paper. That's how I stuffed this guy. Um, he, he is standable. You could, as I said, you could use, I'll show you how to use bands with bad quality bands. If you have one of those kits and you never use it anymore like I do, you could use that. But if you are using bands, I would recommend when doing it like once because they're sort of very precious. So you could only do it like once, if you get what I mean. But it's cheaper just to buy stuff in um, for the US. I don't know wherever you, where you're living. So it might not be cheap, because I think in Australia it's expensive. I don't know, I don't live in Australia. Because I saw like YouTubers say, oh, stuffing's super expensive in Australia and stuff, especially safety eyes. So that's why I will be showing you guys how to use beads and bands. Because, yeah. I don't know, I don't live in Australia. Again, so I, I, I'm clueless on how much it takes, how, like if it's expensive or rare or something. So, yes, I put it on there. Um, okay, so this card is wrong, according to Emma. No, it's the yeah. Okay, so let's um, make stuff. So here I have my bag of off-branded bands. Um, I'll show you with them first. I'm just gonna grab a little pinch. So. Move this card out of the way. You wanna slide it down to your hook, and you just stuff it in. Like, boom, you know. I'm not using stuffing. Oh, these are confusing. Um, so. Okay, so there we go. So you use bands. My sister was going to my idea that I already thought of, and I didn't like it. Okay, now let's use tissue. I mean toilet paper. So you cut some. You want to roll it. This is for the legs. And then you want to roll it again. And then you would push it in. Stuffing. Fluff it up to save stuffing for me. And I'll show, actually like show you how to put it in this time. I'm not going to put too much. And then just... Smush it in to the laggies. Not too much stuffing. A little bit of stuffing will do even if you have like mounts of stuffing on like I do. I need to my sister and I really, really, really do need to buy more stuffing. It's still good not to overstuff because then you could see like you could actually see everything. Like everything, really, everything. Um you could see all of your little um, mistakes and stuff. You don't need this thing, this next thing that I'm going to list. And just make sure you put it in very carefully. So you don't need, like, it's not like mandatory, what I'm about to say, but if you have one... I do. Make a pencil. Stuff it in. Don't get the wax. Like 
then just add our stuffing. And now we want to just um like decre now we want to do some decreasing until this is close. We're gonna start by decreasing all the way around. Um I don't know my like a million clips. And by the way guys, so I wanna talk about Animal Crossing um while we do this. Okay, so Animal Crossing skits. I'm gonna tell you some ideas. It's probably already out by the time you're watching this. Hopefully not, because then like uh yeah, you already posted that. So and we have really one thing. So how do you guys like our Animal Crossing skit? Oh, it's nice, right? Um, it took Emma so much time to edit. It's like forever. She's working on a new one. At the current time, my phone link's not out. But um, if it is, link down below and link in the iCard up there. There, I, I don't know which one. So yeah, link in the iCard, link down below too, on how to, um, on our skit, Pete's paw, I guess, is the one we're working on. So this, this duck, she's actually our villager, we have her with us, and her name's Pete, and I was thinking, you know what, what went, okay, sorry, my camera, like, froze, so as I was saying, don't you guys, like, not like when like when you pull through like you hear that like sound when you're accidentally pulling through the stuffing i don't like that sound it annoys me okay you know stop getting sidetracked that's all i'm gonna say to myself um now we are going to decrease all the way all the way around i'm not sure but i think this is the round where we decrease until closed and you're probably like Anna how come you keep setting up those piles of two well I personally love doing it um because a couple of reasons one it doesn't take so long to pick what you've been like okay what you've been like crap ah it takes forever um also so I could sort of plan out so it doesn't look like one color is going to repeat like a million times. The other, other color, bum, 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 zero times. So that's another reason. Okay, so after this we are going to decrease until five. Um... Back to my rambling. Yes, I just said back to it. Um, so, yeah. I love sorting out the piles. I know, oh, that, that color's been done like 50 times. This color's never been done. Let's do this color. Oh, nope. I was wrong. This is our final stitch because then it's so close. So all we want to do is pull through everything weekly not pull super tight because if this falls apart well the whole thing's gonna fall apart tuck it in by going into all the stitches <sighs> okay pull through weekly and go in I'm gonna take a sip of water if you guys don't mind. I don't want my voice to wear out. Okay, so now we are um, gonna just make some the. Okay, let's move this out of the way. We're gonna make the ears. Yes, I'm gonna make the ears and no stitch marker for now. Oh, I found this. Okay. I'm gonna make the ears. For now. So, no more mother pill for now, because we also have to make a muzzle. Um, so, yeah. 
gonna make the muzzle and the ears right now. And then tomorrow, well, same video for you guys. I'll pick it back up on this. Um, hopefully. Wrap the band, so around there's two times. Two bands, we'll do. Have that. And we wanna go from the middle pin and your womb should be in the stacker configuration. You wanna stretch to this pin right here. There we go. Another wrap band. Two bands. Pull through. You wanna go down this pin bar a few times. Um, if you guys keep watching, you'll see. Okay. Two times. Right? Yeah. Okay. Three times, three times, three times. Three times, guys. Go down three times. Because you see, ooh, see here, one, two, three. If you need any more proof. Okay. Now you want to turn in. Do the same thing on this side. We're going to use our pink here. So, I have a question for you all. So, um, when you guys do, like, designs on the, you guys do design, when you guys do designs on the womb, do you prefer when you make your cat band, wrapping it twice, three times, or four times? I prefer three times, because two times is usually too loose for me. You know what I mean? You know, like, loose. And... Um... Four times my band snaps. I am the girl who loves to snap my bands. I don't like to. But I always snap my bands. And... Yeah. If you're wondering when I make um, designs on the one. That's why I, at the current time of filming, I never done a happy food ever in my life. My sister loves happy food stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna take two bands and go down. The middle pin with our pink or the color you want your ear, the inner ear. So yeah, back to me and my happy foods. The happy foods. I don't like happy foods. I mean, they're nice, they're cool. I, they, they look cool. My sisters made me a couple, like a blueberry, uh, a granola bar. You, you guys should really look at a granola bar. I cut up there, link down below. Was it that way? I don't know. But either way, um, you guys really should go push down, look at her granola bar. I'll talk about that more one in a sec. Now we're gonna take band and I'm gonna stretch it from the left to the right, make a triangle. Okay. Once you finish that, we're gonna take a single band, wrap it around, oh, this is with your pink. Wrap it around. As many times as you want to. I like doing it three times. But you could do as many as you want. Okay, now comes the tricky part, the hooking. hooking. Push back the cat band. Grab the top two bands. Oh, that's not the top two. Okay, got them. And you wanna hook them forward. Push back the cap band. We'll grab the bottom two. Hook them to the right. If you did it the same way I was. Bottom two bands. AKA top two too. And yeah. Now we just want to hook this. The middle one forward. And I will start rambling in. A few seconds. And once I show you guys how to hook. Soda. Um, so you just want to push all these bands back. 
Don't go up the fluff. All the bands back of the bottom two. How can that work? Continue all the way down, and then you want to just turn it. Okay, back to me and my lamp boy. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't know. I as I said earlier, I have a band, a bond. Here, hold on, guys. You just want to turn in and do the same thing on the right side. Okay, so I'm a band snapper. I love to snap my bands. Um. I always have to grab a few extras, unless I don't have any extras, but I usually do. So I'll pick them on this in a few minutes. Pull, pull through, pull through. Is there a smoothie band? Ooh. So I should go in depth. So at this topper pin, let me zoom in. You want to put your hook in. Hook in, check. Make sure that you have all the bands. Take a band, catch it into the little in-depth hook shape. Pull through. Now you have something like this. Put this back on. Pull through. Tight, but not too tight that it snaps. Take off your arm. Now you just want to tuck it in by going into all the stitches. There we go. And pulling through it. Tucking it in technically. Now I'll pause the video here and make another one. Okay, so move the loom out of the way. We just want to add two um, little slip knots here that we're not going to tuck in. This is just for when we... Um, Attach to the head, so just do it to the two sides, go into the stitches and pull through. Um, it's really strange because most of the time, like right now, I ramble, but when I do the silent, like a few minutes of silence, I actually feel good. I, I like. I liked it, some silence and not talking for a bit for a change. Um, Cause, well, I just taught you guys how to do the wig or maybe you're just listening. And I did this one, okay. Make sure that you do it in the correct placing on like I did for this one. So, whoops, wait, is that a little correct? Yep, I'm gonna go fix this. Okay, so I just fixed the two ears. So now here, we're gonna put this on the head. So, yeah, I need to retuck this in. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I did wrong. Put these so you can see like ears. So that's gonna be there. So I'm gonna go and let's see the time. Okay. Now we're gonna make our muzzle with our accent color. So put all this to the side. So yes, I do. So we're just gonna do this part where it says muzzle. Go ahead and screenshot this. We're just gonna do the muzzle, which is a magic ring of six, and then we are going to go into the first three stitches. Sorry if my handwriting is sloppy. Um,
Yeah, sorry. Three, four. So I'm sort of washing because camera's battery's dying and I have to clean up my room because um, I have to be in bed by nine. So yeah. What time do you guys go to bed? I mean, I go to bed pretty, um, wait. Because my sister and I talk about stuff. I'm not going to say, because that's giving away too much info. Pull through, make sure no, it's okay, on both sides. Tanya, the stop. But yeah, my sister and I, we talk like a lot, a lot, a lot. So yeah, we go to bed pretty late because we talk. But I, I could wake up at like E because I have literal school, which isn't the best because um, I wake up very early. Okay, so. Now we could start working on the head, but I have to go to bed, so I'll be wearing a different shirt. Yeah. 